Oh, just, look, they, they painted my ceiling. Oh, white. It's funny because I just made a video up here, a shoulder workout video with BBCs. Anyway, so I want to do a little uh, channel update and um, uh, response to uh, this guy Omar. He made a few, uh, three, uh, three videos, a series of videos uh, reviewing like YouTube fitness channels and stuff. It's pretty funny and I was like one of the channels that he reviewed. Anyway, so um, well, let's do the channel update first. So uh, this guy, this subscriber, he commented on my video. He said that, uh, well, actually, it's actually a video about squats and, and plyometrics. I was trying to give him advice, answer questions and stuff like that. And he was like, Frank, how come your videos aren't funny anymore? What happened to the cool old Frank? Where's the BBC workouts and you eating raw fish? Shit! Anyway, so I thought it was funny because I was just editing the, the new BBC video when, he, when I read that comment. And, and the, the, the fact that this guy uh, would rather watch me like eating raw fish and like sucking dildos uh, rather than, um, you know, hearing advice about squats and plyometrics. Plyometrics really says something about himself. Right? <laughs> anyway, so, um, uh, yeah, well, see, uh, part of the reason why, you know, I haven't been making a lot of, like, funny or like, trolling videos is because Vivian's not here. And she's working, and she's coming back next month, so uh, she's gonna, we're gonna make more videos. But, um, I uh, see, when she's not here, she's like my soundboard one, you know, like, when we go out, like, if, if I have an idea, like, if I want to troll. So most of the tr uh, trolling ideas, like, they come out of the blue, right? And, like, if I'm uh, by myself, first of all, I wouldn't even have an idea in the first place, probably, you know? And uh, if I do think of something crazy to do, I wasn't able to. I wasn't able to film it because there's no one that's filming for me, right? So it's like uh, the Costco video with all these raw fish. It's, it's the same. Um, it came out of the same um, place where um, you know I just saw a fish and I was like, "Fuck me, I'm gonna eat that fish raw." And then video was right there and it's like, "Yeah, I wanted to take." Me. So uh, so while I'm by myself, you know, I've been focusing more on the more serious stuff, you know, uh, you know, play violin, you know, mixing it, you know, harder and uh, working out pretty hard, and uh, it's just trying to be bulk and work a bit cleaner, and uh, trying to stay at four thousand calories. Yeah, so I've been lifting pretty hard too, increasing my um, sets to 20 sets at work at workout. Now instead of I used to do like you know 12 to 14, and um, and it's really hard hard to like troll at the gym and while working out. You know, you know I used to make a lot of videos at the gym where I'm just trolling and, and working, trying to work at the same time. But you know it's really hard to focus your your mind on the muscles when, you, when you're thinking about fucking dildos and and, and then sticking your tongue out and shit or like you know you have a gran granny next to you trying to suck your dick. Anyway, so um, yeah, that's that's the so I'm, I've been tri tri saving up the uh, the good stuff, the funny stuff. Like not all my viewers like the funny stuff. A lot of people are saying like they like my videos recently. It's more serious. It's, uh, I guess the more quote unquote mature viewers, where they, they they like my my um my D blogs and stuff like that, and my, my art videos and my violin videos. But uh, but the 15 years, I gotta please the 15 years, uh, because you know I gotta my fuck the minors. It feels good to my fuck the minors. We my fuck the minors. It feels good because it's, it's guilt trip. You know, because you can only you can only. You can't really fuck 15-year-old boys in real life, but you can fuck them in the minds. Anyway, so um, yeah, in the summer, you know, I'm saving up for the summer. You know, most people get, you know, when the summer time comes, they get ripped, go to the beach and try to show off their bodies. Well, I'm gonna get ripped in the summer, and I'm gonna make a lot of, you know, trolling videos, you know, in the states, because I'm going back to the states in the summer. You know, I just can't be the same. You know, I just, you know, when I make videos, it, it's just a lot of it's just spontaneous impulses, and based on like my my surroundings and stuff like that, and my, my 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 current experiences and. Um, and I just can't be the same like, like the hostage where they're, they're like the same in every video for, for like four years. You know? I just can't be like that. Time to move on to Frank Yang, or as I prefer to say, Frank Young. Uh, you know, some people, critics will say that his videos are uh, vapid, nihilistic, uh, intensely obtuse, and utterly meaningless. I say those are just big work. He's kind of like a David Lynch film where, you know, it's incoherent, it's perverse. But maybe, just maybe, at the very bottom of the video, there might be a meaning. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. We have to talk about Furious Pete. Like, uh, I'm very pleased. Actually, I was very surprised when you mentioned David Lynch in, uh, in the same sentence with me. That's always an honor. You actually got my videos by saying that. It's part of my videos trying to me to trying to capture the meaninglessness of, 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 the, of the universe, of reality. You know, the chaotic side of reality. I mean, I'm just trying to stay true to the nature of of, uh, of reality or re nature of the world, or nature of the, the subconscious mind, where it's just complete chaos and complete meaninglessness and, and, and co complete irrationality. And, and the way that my video comes out, you know, uh, is if I, the, 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 the way I see it, being authentic really means staying true to nature. And nature is fucking just bizarre. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, and another thing is that 
I don't really care about like trying to make meanings out of my ideas anymore. Because I used to like uh, make those art videos or, or my fuck videos where it's just pretty chaotic and uh, basically what the fuck videos. After you watch it, you go what the fuck, right? And um, I used to try to, you know, intellectualize them, try to write little paragraphs with language, try to justify why I did that. Uh, but I, I realized, I've come to realize that I don't want to do that anymore. I don't need to do that anymore because, uh, I, you know, I realized that the intellectual activities and the uh, creative impulses, the creative activities, are actually two di separate domains, two, two different pathways in the brain. You know? uh, sometimes they're really quite opposite. And what I want to say is that you know, the creative impulse, it just comes out to be spontaneous. You know, like, like, there's no need to rationalize it. It's not a rational process. And uh, in artists, they, they just have to create. They don't need a reason to create. They just, they, they just, they don't, they go insane, just like I say, you know, those ideas bubble on my head and it just, you know, if I don't shit it out, I feel like, you know, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm about to explode, you know, like poop, you know, I just gotta poop it out. And, um, I think trying to intellectualize it or trying to just like, you know, write what they mean to try to justify what it means, it's sort of, in a way, not dumbing it down, but taking it out of a, of a, of a realm that it's supposed to be in. For example, like music, like classical music. The music, classical music is very complex, very aesthetic, right? But it doesn't have meanings. It's very difficult to learn, difficult to understand, but it doesn't have meanings. It's, it's completely self-referential. It's kind of like abstract paintings where there's nothing behind it. But that's why it's so great about it. It's like there's nothing behind it that you don't need to go back to your everyday life language or try to put everything in boxes and categories, try to explain everything. You don't need to do that anymore with those kind of arts. Right? I, I want my videos to be like that, where it, it, I give you a reaction, good or bad, I don't care, what the fuck moment, and that's it. And if you want to interpret it, you want to uh, uh, talk about what it means, go ahead. You know, it's, it's your job to do it. I'm not going to say it's completely meaningless because every time an artist creates, there's always a meaning. In the subconscious, something that comes out from the subconscious always is, it, my, my, you know, not always, but like a lot, it, a lot of times it actually has some, some symbolic meanings behind it, but you know, try, trying to justify it might take away the experience, you know. So, so music, yeah, it's like music and music is in, in another sphere above language. And there's no need to pull it down again to use language to try to justify why you like it. You know, why, well, you know it's just an experience. Kind of, I remember watching a Joe Rogan podcast and he was talking about the David Lynch films and he was like, oh man, that guy is so fucking weird. You know, I don't, want, I don't know what it means. And then the other guy that he, he was uh, interviewing, he was like, well, it doesn't really have to mean anything. It's just an experience, like a psychedelic trip where you just sort of get a, a moment of, of, of like, you know, you, you sort of feel confused, but your, your brain is like overdrive. Oh yeah, I want to say that. I actually read an, an article that says that if you, if you read or watch a lot of those really absurd stories or, or, or watch a lot of those absurd films, uh, they, they, they make test subjects, uh, friends talk about books. And he said that they, they, their creativity actually increased because like your brain goes to overdrive when you read those, you know, chaotic shit and, 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 and that it's not like you learn anything from the, the material it's just like the, the way that the, the effect that those you know those um, films or those art had on your brain allows you to sort of become more creative <laughs>